Hello, hello. This is Insurance Hour. I am your host, Carl Sussman. Thank you so much for being here today. Phone lines are still open, 559-656-0317. Any questions, please send them in to questions at insurancehour.com. And of course, if you need help right away, dial pound 250 on your cell phone. Use the keyword insurance to get someone on that line right away. Oh, P.S., you can also text us at 559-656-0317. Really shouldn't forget that because I like texting. It's a lot easier sometimes than sitting on hold or leaving a voicemail. So feel free to do that as well. Before the last break, we were talking about claims. But again, if you missed the last break or anything before that, just jump online, search for Insurance Hour. You'll find us. We're on YouTube. We're on Apple Podcasts. We're pretty much everywhere. If you look for Insurance Hour, you'll find Insurance Hour. I suppose you could search for Carl Sussman as well. You'd probably find Insurance Hour there too. So we were talking about claims. We were talking about claims because that's why we have insurance, right? That's why we purchase an insurance policy because we want to know that in the event something happens, that's something that we are buying a policy to protect us from, we want to know that the insurance carrier is going to step up and write that check. Now, I promised you before the break also, I was going to give you my famous claims phrase. I'm going to give it to you right now. Claims adjusters are just people. Never forget that. One claims adjuster for one insurance company is not indicative of that insurance company, period. It's not indicative of if that insurance company, quote unquote, pays their claims or doesn't. It's not indicative of if another insurance company throws money at you or if another insurance company makes it so easy. It doesn't matter. It's not how it works. Insurance claims adjusters are just people. They have good days. They have bad days. Sometimes they might view your claim in one way. Sometimes they might view your claim in another way. It's not the carrier. It's nothing personal. It's just a people situation. So the next time you're involved in a situation where you're dealing with a claims adjuster and you're getting annoyed, you're getting pissed, you're feeling like, you know what? This is not right. I am not getting my claim handled correctly. This insurance company sucks. Time out. It's not the insurance company, at least not at that stage. You may have a bad claims adjuster. Remember, there are good doctors, there are bad doctors. There are good insurance brokers and bad insurance brokers. There are good restaurants to go to because they have good staff and some that just stink. There are good claims adjusters and bad. And you can't take the experience of one claims adjuster and say, this now represents the entire insurance company experience, let alone the entire insurance industry experience just based on one person, one human being that's dealing with your claim. Now, I'm not here to defend claims adjusters. I can tell you one thing, though, it's a thankless job. This is a situation where you are dealing with people that have just had a loss. Most of us are not in an emotionally great place. If we've just had a loss, we're upset, we're emotional, we're peeved. Is that even, how can I say that? They're peeved. So understand that a claims adjuster is dealing with people when they are not at their friendliest. So to be able to counter that, they need to try and be extra friendly. Some of them succeed, some of them don't. But at the end of the day, if you are dealing with a claims adjuster and you feel that you are not getting what you need, you have every right to ask them straight out, say, you know, I I feel like I'm not getting my point across or I feel like I'm not getting what I need out of my, my claims experience. Can I please speak to whomever you're reporting to directly? Don't be... Don't aggravate them. Don't say, you suck. Who's your boss? Because first of all, what you've just done is you've guaranteed that if you end up staying with this adjuster, you are not going to get the best treatment. Number two, you've put that adjuster on the defensive, which you never want to do. And number three, you're going to have to fight to get that supervisor because they're not going to just cough it up, right? They're just people. And I'm not saying you should kiss them on there. You know what? All I'm saying is that remember that claims adjusters are people. And if you're not getting what you need, you tell that person, you say, I understand there's a process if I'm not handled, if my claim doesn't feel like it's moving fast enough, or there's a process if I don't feel that my claim is being handled the way I want it to be. See how now you're not accusing them of doing something bad. You're saying it's not being handled the way I want it to be, or it's not being handled as fast as I want it to be. You're putting it on you. Number one, that's going to put you in a position where the adjuster might just change the way they're dealing with your file because they're going to say, well, I want I want it to be handled in the way they want, right? Or they might say, yeah, well, I can't do that. Let me get them somebody else. Either way, 
A little bit of that goes a long way because claims adjusters do not have an easy job. As far as claims go, all I can tell you, my, my best advice is to keep that in mind. Claims adjusters are just people. They may have had a big fight that morning with their significant other. They may have just gotten their salary cut. They may have just had a death in the family. We don't know. We don't certainly ask them those questions, and we shouldn't. But just remember, in the event you are not getting a claim handled the way you want, you do have rights, you can do things to try and get to somebody else. And at the end of it all, if you've gone to supervisors, if they've assigned you additional claims adjusters, if they've done all of this stuff, and you still are in a situation where you're not satisfied, if they're an admitted insurance company, you do have the ability to go to that state's Department of Insurance, the state you live in, and ask the Department of Insurance for help. That is one of the things that they are typically there for. You got me? You feel me? I'm going to have a claims adjuster or actually a retired claims adjuster on the show in a few weeks, and we'll get to hear firsthand what it's like from that perspective. And I know who gives a you know what. It's interesting, all right? I'm an insurance nerd. I think it's interesting, so I think maybe you will as well. Plus, I'm sure there will be a lot of great stories to hear. It reminds me, I wrote an article on Kiplinger.com. If you want, just search Carl Sussman Kiplinger. And you'll see the articles and you'll find one on there that talks about it never being your fault, because that's one of the funny things about claims. And when you're in this business long enough, you'll start to feel like people just never want to say it's their fault, even when it clearly is. It's a fun article. I uh, go read it if you if you have some time. So wrapping up today's show, we talked about the history of insurance. We talked about claims. We talked about how to purchase insurance. We talked about ways to deal with claims in the event that you're not getting things the way you want. We talked about large claims that the industry paid out. And again, I'm not playing the, I'm not trying to say, oh, these poor insurance companies had to pay out all this money. No, they did it because that's their job. We paid premium, they paid claims. That's the relationship. We pay um, premium and the insurance carriers pay claims. And anything outside of that, we can work with. Once again, I'm Carl Sussman. This is Insurance Hour. You've been listening to, hopefully you've, been le- you've learned a lot. You've enjoyed it along the way. If you've missed any part of the show, please go online, search for Insurance Hour. You'll find us on Apple Podcasts, on YouTube, pretty much everywhere you can go. You can just go to insurancehour.com. That's the easiest way. Pick your poison from there, how you want to listen to the show or how you want to watch it. And you'll be able to get the entirety of this show if you missed any and previous shows as well. We try and keep everything online. We try and keep it updated. And again, my goal to provide you with the most accurate, most up-to-date information that I can. Thank you once again. I am Carl Sussman, and you have been learning from Insurance Hour. Take care. I do want to thank all of you for taking the time to listen today. I know insurance is not necessarily the most sexy concept. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. It is important that you understand what it is you're getting, what you should be looking for, red flags, you name it. You just need to know more than you used to. Things are more complicated than they used to be. If you have any questions, please reach out to me directly. You can email your questions to questions at insurancehour.com or call and leave a voicemail at 559 656-0317. Educating and entertaining Californians one insurance policy at a time. This is Insurance Hour. The show is dedicated to Shamrock Papa.